welcome back to Lori's Kitchen. Well, today we're not in Lori's kitchen. We're in Lori's dad's and mom's kitchen. So today I made a dish with my dad. It's called Tuscany Creamy Garlicky Chicken. And my dad is gonna be the taste tester for this. So go ahead and try it. Very good. Good, creamy? Creamy. It has cheese in there. Can you taste the cheese? Yes, it's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you like it. So come along with us and mm. we'll show you how we're going to make this recipe. Let's take a look at all the ingredients we'll need to make this recipe. First, we're going to start out with some whole chicken thighs. These are bone in. I'm going to use about six to eight pieces, about four tablespoons of butter, one pound of penne pasta or one pound of your favorite type of pasta a cup of heavy cream, a teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm actually using tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce, and about two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, eight ounces of white mushrooms sliced, two cups of baby spinach, more if you like, a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated. Three teaspoons of minced garlic. Six ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. About a cup and a half of unsalted chicken broth or low sodium. And some cornstarch to make a cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce at the end. Let's turn on our Instapot on saute mode, let it warm up, and we're gonna prepare some of our veggies. Let's go ahead and cut up and dice up one medium-sized onion. We're gonna take the eight ounces of mushrooms and slice them up. If you like more mushrooms, you could actually double the amount of mushrooms if you like. Then we're gonna clean up the chicken. We're still leaving the skin on because our family likes the skin on, but we're trimming off the excess fat and excess skin. Get in it ready to brown it in the Instapot. Go through all the pieces and get that done. Now that our Instapot reads hot, we're gonna go ahead and get our four tablespoons of butter and melt it at the bottom of the pan. We're gonna take our chicken skin side down and we're gonna go ahead and start browning it. You cook it about three to five minutes on each side. Right now I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. After the three to five minutes, I'm flipping it over for the second browning. And let it sit for another three to five minutes and repeat for the rest of the pieces in your pot. Now that all the pieces are brown, we're gonna go ahead and put in our three teaspoons of gar uh, minced garlic. I'm gonna stir that around, trying to scrape off some of the bits at the bottom, add in my mushrooms and my diced onions. And I'm gonna let them cook down just a bit. Keep stirring them till you see them reduce and let out the water from the mushrooms and you'll see them shrink down to quite a smaller amount of mushrooms than what you started with. Now that we've done that process, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my two tablespoons of gluten-free soy sauce. You can use regular soy sauce, that would be just fine. My one and a half cup of no salt chicken broth. I've also added in my two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Now I'm stirring it around, trying to scrape the bits off the bottom of the pan so I don't get a burn error and all that flavor gets into my sauce. Now it's time to put my pieces of brown chicken back into the sauce. You need to stack them up one on top of the other, filling them, you know, making layer after layer. 
I have about eight, nine pieces for this recipe, so you just make them fit the best way possible. And if some of them stick out, that's fine. They do not all have to be submerged under the sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lid and make sure the valve is set to sealing. Press my pressure cooker for 10 minutes and let it go. While the pot is coming to pressure and cooking for 10 minutes, go ahead and cook your pasta according to the box directions. We're not gonna put this into the Instapot, it's just gonna be cooked on the outside for the finished product. As you can see, we have a natural release here of 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and hit cancel and then put the saute function back on. We're gonna open our pot and remove the cooked chicken pieces so we may finish our sauce. While the Instapot is coming back up to a simmer because the saute function is on, we're adding in our sun-dried tomatoes. This was about six ounces. We're gonna add in some more Italian seasoning because I didn't add quite enough in the very beginning. So it's gonna be about uh, maybe a total of two large teaspoons or to two large tablespoons of Italian seasoning, however you like it. Give it a good stir. Add in our spinach, let it wilt down a little bit. Put in a little more Italian seasoning because you can never have too much. Now we're gonna add in our Parmesan cheese and our cup of heavy cream. This is gonna make the richness for the sauce. Looks like I didn't put in quite enough spinach, so I put in another handful. Now we're gonna add in our cornstarch slurry, which is equal parts of cornstarch and cold water that's been blended ahead of time. This is gonna help us thicken our sauce. And we're just gonna let it simmer in the Instapot till it gets to the right thickness and consistency that we desire. Now that it's thickened, it's time to put the chicken pieces back into the sauce. And we're just putting the chicken in just a few minutes just to make it warm again since the chicken has been out of the pan for a while. The sauce is ready to the right consistency, so you're just warming up the chicken. And that's all there is to it. And there you have it, creamy Tuscany garlicky chicken made in the Instapot. So delicious. If you like this recipe, please like my video and comment down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell to be informed when my next video is available. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.